as Reese turns his focus to making his second year on tour as successful, if not better than his first, it's time for us to put the spotlight on our chosen one for the coming season. So let us introduce a Dutchman who we expect to fly on the European tour, Flori de Vries in South Africa, scene of last year's Football World Cup, soaking up the sights. He is our one to watch for 2011. I love to play the game. If, if I play good or bad, I don't, I don't mind. I still enjoy it. I'm an emotional player, so I get, I get very happy and I get upset as well. Quite aggressive, like I like to take difficult shots on. I think I'm an enjoyable player to watch. <laughs> I have a bit of every, everything in my game and uh, it's a lot of work in progress as well, but uh, I think I'm getting there. Flory earned his elevation to the European Tour via a fourth place finish on the Challenge Tour. An impressive transition to the professional ranks saw him rack up no fewer than five top five finishes. Two as runner-up, the icing on the cake, his first win. That yeah, was a very good season. I uh, had high ex expectations as my, of myself and I wanted to finish top 15 and I finished fourth. So, I mean, I did very well and I reached my goal for the year, so it was very satisfying and uh, I uh, enjoyed the year as well, like it was, it was a very nice year, nice courses and nice people around me and uh, it was just uh, it was a nice year to start off with. He certainly made an impact early, notching his victory in only his fifth start of the season at the Mugello Tuscany Open. You can see the whole Yeah, the win was fantastic. Uh, I didn't have a great category so I needed, I needed a good performance in the beginning of the season uh, to uh, to get into the big events and um, so I tried really hard to win as, as soon as possible and uh, I was leading uh, from day one and kept the lead every day and uh, birdied the last hole to get in the playoff and then won against uh, Olesen which was uh, which was really nice so it was, uh, was a great feeling. It's the best feeling you can have as a golfer to win. Obviously, the win is what, what, what you do it for, and it, it's, it's definitely the highlight of my career so far, and uh, I can build, uh, build off that, hopefully. Making the step up to the big stage, Flory's European Tour career is already underway, as he took advantage of the pre-Christmas events in South Africa to get some early rounds under his belt. I got nervous, of course, in, in, on important moments, but... Uh, like I always try to try to enjoy the things, like you know, and especially like stuff like this. You know, uh, a lot of kids from my age don't uh, don't get to see this kind of stuff. So when you have a bad round and then you're upset, and then an hour later you think, you know, we're gonna try tomorrow again or next week. And uh, I mean, it's only it's only a game in the end. At just 21, he seems to have an old head on young shoulders and an attitude which has a nice balance between confidence and what can be the harsh reality of playing on arguably the world's most competitive tour. The primary goal is just to keep my card. I know it's a lot tougher out there than, than it was last year and uh, I think it's a realistic goal to keep my card and uh, I think I'm really able to do it. And hopefully just have a couple of good events and, uh, and, and finish in the top 60 of the race to Dubai. But that's, that's like the second goal, but the primary goal is just to get the, to get the card for next year and then uh, set the goals a bit higher. It's a name you shouldn't forget, so make a note of Florida Fries and we'll keep you up to date with his progress throughout the year.